Hello dears, uh, today we are going to discuss about Hepatitis. So let's talk about Hepatitis. Talking about Hepatitis, you know like from the lower class we are remembering, uh, we know Hepatitis A, B, C, D, E, till today we have A, B, C, D, E type of what? Infection, that is called acute viral infection. Infection. Remember in pathoma or pathomorpho specifically they will ask you what is the marker you will get to find out or diagnose what acute viral hepatitis that is called councilman bodies. So always remember for viral hepatitis what is the marker we will see in the blood that is called councilman bodies. So in the future whenever you hear or whenever you see this word councilman bodies no doubt we are talking about viral hepatitis. Make sure you remember it. So let's easily classify the hepatitis into hepatitis A, B, uh, C, D as well as E. So we are supposed to talk here about each of these hepatitis virus. Right? What is important we will be talking? First thing, Right? What is the genetic material each of these have? That they will be asking us. So remember, everyone is made up of RNA virus. A is RNA. RNA. C is RNA. D is RNA virus. And E is also RNA. So who is the VIP here? Who is the exception here? Our B. Hepatitis B. They are made up of double-stranded DNA. My God. That's why HIV and Hep B, they always stand a variety, right? Remember, A, it will be, A or E will be commonly spread by fecal oral route. Ashik is drinking some water, that or from uh, contaminated water. Not only this, the last one here, fecal oral route. Always remember, fecal oral route of transmission for A and E. Now, that's why in some of the countries, right? Very commonly pregnant woman in 8th month, 9th month, they will be infected. That is pregnant woman. Very common question in the exam. So whenever a pregnant woman have hepatitis E, commonly if you see in any exam pregnant woman and they are getting jaundice or hepatitis uh, uh, like symptoms, scenario, think about that is called fulminant hepatitis. We call it as uh, fulminant or fulminant hepatitis. Fulminant hepatitis. According to severity, you will be treating it. Sometimes it will be mild self-remitting. Otherwise, it can cause abortion or other complication. Remember, talking about B, C and D, very important. B comes through sexual intercourse. If someone have sex with the person already having what? Hepatitis B, they can have it. It can come through IV drug uh, abusers. Like, you know, people share the needles. And that is called transplacental from mother to baby. Transplacental. Uh, remember, C most common with IV drug again, IV drug abuses or blood transfusion, dealing with the blood, everything. No, while doing a surgery for an hepatitis patient, I got a needle prick. There's a high chance if that person have hepatitis C, I will also get what? Infected. So by what? Needle prick. So this all can be a risk factor or main causes for what? Transmission of hepatitis B and C. D is a variety here. Variety means this is a part of co-infection or we call it as super infection. Co-infection or super infection. With whom? Wherever you are there I am, I will come. Whenever hepatitis B infected, who will come? Hepatitis D will be coming for them. So that's about the genetic material and how they will infect us. Uh, remember, A will cause you normally acute infection. This can cause acute, right? B can also cause acute. C can also cause acute. D can never cause acute. E also will cause acute infection for sure. But don't expect A to have chronic infection. Remember, no chronic. Chronic is not there. Chronic is completely reserved for B and C. They will have 
chronic infection if i have inflammation of my liver for a long time of course maybe i am at a high risk of having what hepatocellular carcinoma so chronic equal to cancer here you can expect if you don't treat the patient they can develop in the future what cancer that is called hepatocellular carcinoma we can suspect remember in all the exam most common most common chronic hepatitis c4 c right d is always what chronic with the b and e also don't have any chronic infection he also don't have any chronic infection now what is the method how we prevent them by giving what a vaccination for hepatitis a we have available vaccine in the market now we call it as inactivated vaccine hepatitis a we have inactivated vaccine b have a vaccine called subunit vaccine c don't have any vaccine others don't have any vaccine remember subunit is also called or we can call it as recombinant a recombinant vaccine for hepatitis b remember c don't have any vaccine that's why like we can't prevent it for now right now uh, if you want quickly you can remember the family of this remember private hospital favors private hospital favors something called rich clients so ash if ashik made a five star hospital i am i will never expect poor people to get come and treated there right so they need hospital need money or like why a private hospital means for sure so p4 hepatitis a comes under picorna family right h4 they comes under hepatna f4 they comes under flavi r4 this rna it's also called uh, delta family delta delta c4 calci c4 calci so microbiology uh, clinically we don't think they will ask you this but basically the family of virus very important enterovirus sorry picorna virus is very important right uh, for hepatitis a normally they used to ask so among this this all about d or e or a or b that is a basic thing but there are something we have to know more about hep b and hep c so let's talk something that is asked in the exam more than this for hepatitis b and hepatitis c how you diagnose hepatitis c if you are suspecting in a patient hepatitis c with the marker how you will diagnose we check something called ah we will see if someone is infected or you suspect an infection you will do the blood check so there are three cases sometime there is antibody positive and hepatitis c virus antigen also positive it means the patient is infected second case i check the blood antibody is negative but i can see hepatitis c virus antigen is positive it means then acute infection antibody it takes time right then i see antibody is positive but the antigen is negative antigen is negative it means ashik is what treated for what hepatitis c so as i said to you there is no treatment till now sorry no treatment a uh, completely successful or no vaccination for hepatitis c still we try some drugs right we can try some drug it include one combination called ribavirin plus ah uh, interferon 2 alpha interferon 2 alpha or you can try a combination of protease inhibitor along with borceptavir or you can try just one drug the new one yeah sofa sorry sofa bovir as you remember all the vir are antiviral all the virs are antiviral so we can't say it is completely successful but still a symptomatic therapy this drug are like working really well in the market expensive drug now let's talk about hepatitis b same like we have markers to diagnose hepatitis b also see for hepatitis b i remember how you diagnose them if you see hepatitis b is made up of three things one is called core then envelope and surface surface 
then envelope inside we have something called what core so in any exam if they are giving he ashik check the blood he see hbs antigen surface antigen it means ashik is what ah uh, infected ashik is infected instead if they are giving ashik is having hbe antigen hbe envelope very important very important high infectivity is happening high infectivity body can't control it high infectivity now instead if they are giving something like hbs antibody it means what ha ah, treated or you are sorry hbs antibody treated or patient have immunity or if they are giving specifically igm as ig antibody m immunoglobulin m against hbs antigen it means ha ah, acute infection instead if you see igg hbs antigen it means what chronic infection chronic infection right i told you we have a vaccine in order to understand the person get the immunity by vaccine or exposure right if you see igg hbc hbc right core ha ah. hbc antigen it means the person got the immunity by exposure or ah uh, or like infection through infection only he got the immunity now if you are just seeing hbc hbc antigen it means the patient is undergoing what active infection body is not helping us like there is an active infection going on right hbc so here sorry b capital ha ah, hb means hepatitis b surface b b like don't confuse so these are the main things we are supposed to remember from what hepatitis b we would immune enzyme assay right hydrogen peroxide and alkaline phosphatase immune enzyme uh, like assay or uh, for diagnosing what hep b as well as hep c for treatment we can give the drugs like ha uh, ribavirin you can give the best drug if you have both option the best drug you can give is tenofovir still we don't have a permanent cure for like any of this disease still studies are going on uh, like vaccines are working a lot still so it's better prevention is better than what cure for what hepatitis so that's all about a young for a brief uh about all the types of viral hepatitis thank you